Okay, so there is a really, really, really good, you know, news for this, you know. I feel like she may be a part of a filler arc, and I don't know if I should put her in the original can storyline because I do not like the concept of, you know, what she is as a whole, but I like what I did with her. So this is about a character named Sanka. So this is the Icarus arc. So they're going to be like a little, like maybe a filler Icarus arc, like maybe that. I'm thinking of making it like, like an OVA, OVA like of nods, like maybe, maybe. So Sonica, who is Sonica? Sonica is based off Bojack Horseman's Diane. And because Diane was made at time of cringe, ooh, I'm so, so contemplating. So, she's a cigarette user. If you don't know who that is, those are people who can, like, make lightsabers out of their flames. Like, they take the element of flame and they literally use it as a cigarette saber. So, like, literally, Uncle Stami has one. Stami has one. Fucking anybody who smokes, like, can do that. Like, they're not really effective. All those classic things and nonsense is why I don't like it. I like the original continuity with Kazik Dajihiro, Big Al, you know, Imagasi, etc. I, 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 I just other stuff that I'm at again may fit well into the storyline. It may be well, but it's going way, way, way off the gender. It's becoming pop. And I don't, the last thing I want Nas to do is to go pop. And so I'm contemplating if this should be, you know, like a, a separate fundraiser series, like where I star in it, you know, parcel times, like freaking, like the Morgan series, freaking, like there's going to be a canon arc with Morgan, but that's because that's all a part of the original storyline. The reason why I have Morgan with Ariella is because if you know the story of Ariella, she was at a time where I got away with grabbing a whole bunch of girls' booty at a convention and Lily, but she was the only one that I didn't grab, but she was one of the highest ones. She was one of the hottest ones, and her ass was exposed, too, because she was cosplaying as Yoko. So, me and my brother call each other Anarchy. And, you know, me and Garber Online always had, you know, our girl lag and relationship. I have a song with Garber Online where, literally, we rap about girl lag, and I have a girl lag on song with Garbo, yeah. So, like, literally, so, Ariella, so, I had game at that time, so I used game with Ariella, so that's why she's special to me. And that's also why Morganite is, you know, our part of the Gucci, yo, Guccio, lately, and that's why the shopping arc is a canon arc in Nas, because it's also part of the original car movie. It's also because Morgan is trained not to be thirsty and to protect his sisters, and I really, really love the fact that he set aside, literally, the fucking, you know, the urge that we are half a woman for Nas, like how he's so, like, really, 100% being a nerd and, like, protecting people. He's really, really good, lately. I can tell, maybe he's trained in martial arts to protect, like, his sisters and stuff like that, but that's why I lay him outside Ariella, you know, and that is why it's 100% canon and that is why morgan gets the love and respect that he does in my manga because of literally what he stands for and that doesn't take away from Leiji, that doesn't take away from briskay but sonica and like all this other shit literally fucking skittles is 100 percent cool but at the same time you know fucking sonica ugh, i can't do it like literally i don't know man sonica is based off diane from bojack horseman so it's a really really but another part of this arc that's really really that still keeps that anime feel but it's still turning pop the last thing i want not to do is to go pop so there's this character Character named Icarus. Icarus is the iCarly of Nons. So Icarus is a girl with Dragon DNA who has an old red cap show who's trying to raise money. And Lily. So she cooks up with Sonica because Sonica is a failed actress when she was young. So this is literally a really, 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 really fun concept. So Lily, this Icarus, and it's also going to be like, you know, parodies of like other characters. You know, like Cookie Nami probably is going to have a crew and like there's probably going to be like, you know, uh, Abigail and freaking, you know, uh, a black Abigail and Nas and Lily fucking... I'm making Candy Cannon, you know, Candy. And I'm making Abby and Nas. Like, I'm putting Abby and Nas. So, Abby's, Abby is Candy. Freaking Sue was dead from Goodbye and the Valentine's Day special. So, like, Lily. I originally took Candy out, but, like, Lily, I put her in. So, you spell her name with a K... A N D I, so Candy. So Candy is fucking cool. So like also Lysenia, who was also in the Valentine's Day special, a girl that was grinding on Zaf. Her power is to control mini jawbreakers and bubble gum. So she she controls like little circle shit like that, and she's gonna be in the in the Crystal Elephant statue. You know, Crystal Elephant statue confirms. You know, Lee Senya, like, she has a badass attitude, but she's hella fucking funny. She's not powerful, but she's just like a smart act black, and she always, like, swings these little, she's like Yamchi with the spirit ball, but instead, it's like literally little jawbreakers and shit. She can't summon big jawbreakers until she gets older, so, like, literally, that's how things work in nonce. But, like, boom, 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 like really, really based on our calling, so they both go on hand. But it's also like when Nazis really like successful. You really, where you learn about a whole lot of other shit. This is probably after the Zork New Arc. You know, the this is probably right after. There's a lot of ways that this could fit 
but at the same time, I, I love, I love how I'm trying to add a whole lot of things to like, you know, freaking nons, but the original continuity, Leiji doesn't get in the way, you see, you see how I still keep it like basic, everything that I've drawn so far, this goes way outside of what the fuck I have drawn, like, literally, you know, freaking, it's crazy as shit, but like, literally, I have no idea if I should put this in up or not, like, literally, mm, it's really up there, you know, freaking, I, I'm really, really doing this. But that's a really, really good confirmation of nods. If you are a cookie day, like, there you go. Like, literally, that's a really good quirky for nods. This is, literally, the idea of Sonica and, like, literally, like, literally her contribution, like, how nods, you know, freaking, this is really what could happen if nods got out of hand. So, like, literally, this is why I don't like this. So, vitamin is 100% dank. So, vitamin is dank and cannon. So, like, you don't have to worry about it. Like, they can get your vitamins and all that's cool. They're a part of a separate arc when Nons gets really fucking main and we're fucking, you know, fucking Lucy uses and shit. That's for a separate arc. That's also a part of, like, you know, Nons times one. That's about the continuity of, that's what Sean was talking about. Like, we need to fit this in another, like, you know, piece of, like, a fucking Nons universe and figure out how to make it canon later. So, like, me and Sean were over it literally. So, that's what the Jin's Advice arc is all about that. So, like, they are heavily in trying. So, if you want to know how this becomes canon, the Jin's Advice arc and the. York Zoo arc are both around the same time, so that's what makes it can. It's a higher arc, you know, after the arcs I was already planned for, like, the original rough draft of Nons. So, like, I'll tell you about Nons, like, Lily, why I have planned for, like, the original, you know, thing, because, Lily, formation is, like, I may have to add arm, but, Lily, if I tell you the main timeline without spoiling, like, who fights who or the main events, will you guys get mad? I'll let that be up to you, like, the Fire Maker Studio. They're already going to make a survey. We're going to see if I should, you know, spoil the, you know, arc names of the the first timeline from Nons, so I don't spoil too much, but I still, you know, give you a good rundown of if we should keep Icarus, because knowing this information would really, really, really define if Icarus should be canon or not, so this is Blue Tricks, and I'm out.